School, Rocky Knoll Adventist School, Mount Edna Adventist School, Frederick Adventist Academy, and Highland View Academy. We want to, want to welcome all of you to this music festival, and we hope that this is going to be a great event for the honor of glory of the Lord. I'm going to leave you with our principal, Mr. Rob Geddes, now. I know that the students will echo this, I'm sure. We've had great clinicians this week, haven't we? They've done a really good job instructing, really good job leading. And so I would like to give a big round of applause and ask our clinicians to stand where they're at, please. Thank you guys very much. You know, there's, there's only five of them, and there were over 200 students, so you guys can do the math. They had a lot of fun, and it was enjoyable to kind of pop in and out of the different areas and see them working on their musical skills. My name is Rob Geddes. I'm blessed to be the principal of Highland View Academy. We want to welcome all of you here. We're excited that you're on campus. We planned sunshine for Thursday and Friday, and we forgot to put in the order for sunshine today, so we're going to get liquid sunshine. Hope that you guys enjoy that as well. I want to share a verse with you. My background is in physical education and in administration. It is not in music. All of you guys can be grateful that I'm only talking to you today and that I'm not going to sing for you or try to make any music. But I do want to read this. I love the Bible. Anyone else in here love the Bible? God gives us so many awesome gems. And I want to share one with you right now. Come from, it comes from Psalm 98, starting in verse 4. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Break forth in song. Rejoice and sing praises. Sing to the Lord with the harp with the harp and with the sound of a psalm, with trumpets and with the sound of a horn, shout joyfully before the Lord, the King. We are in the presence of the King today. We are doing this program this afternoon to honor the King. And so each one of these young people is using the talents that God has loaned to them to glorify him. And it's going to be an awesome experience. We know that you're here to join us in glorifying God. And so before the young people take over the program, I want to just ask if each of you would stand with me as we invite the Lord's presence to this program. Let's bow our heads. God, as we pause here, we can hear the raindrops hitting the roof. We want to praise you for promising to provide four seasons for us, promising to provide rain to the just and to us, Lord, the unjust. Thank you, God, for making music when the rain falls, when the thunder claps, and Lord, as we're in here today, each of these young people has been blessed by you. May you be with them. May there be no nerves because all of us are here to celebrate with them. May we have an enjoyable time. And Lord, may we keep our focus exactly where it should be, which is on you. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the sacrifice he made to give salvation to each of us who chooses it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Happy Sabbath. I'm happy to be here. Delighted to be working with this wonderful group of students. Uh, we have been having full days of practice, so it was tiring for them, but it's an honor and a privilege to be here. I'm coming from Shenandoah Valley Academy here in Virginia, nearby. And it's, it's our privilege to work with these kids. I just want to say two things uh, regarding the program. You see that it says over there in Endless Song and then Crowning with Many Crowns. We are switching the order of that. But they have a, a very important message for us. Uh, of course, if we are doing anything here, it's to praise our God and our Lord. And he is the one that should be crowned in our lives, too. But the second song in Endless Song has this question. How can I keep from singing? That you will hear also in the bells later. It's like a theme. With everything that is going on around and everything that we have, how can we stop from making music to our Lord? And I know this kid decides that. And I hope that in your heart, too, as we do, as we do the music, we are praising the Lord.
Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's a real honor for me to be invited back by uh, Dr. Nino to uh, help with the um, Elementary Music Festival here at Chesapeake Conference. Um, I started my teaching career right here at Highland View Academy, fresh out of college, back in 1986. And uh, my wife and I came uh, and uh, spent seven years here and uh, had a wonderful time, good experiences. And a couple of uh, people in the audience came up to me and said, Mr. Ingen, remember us? We were in your band as freshmen and sophomores. And uh, it's an honor when it comes around like that that you can teach second generation of kids because some of their kids are in the bell choir here. So, um, If you have never heard of masked bell choir play, you're in for a real treat because uh, listening to music and bells is, is fun, but hearing a, a mass choir ring, we have probably 250 bells in this set from six different schools. And, um, and uh, when you hear it for the first time, I, I hopefully you'll be uh, impressed with the, the magnitude of the sound uh, than just one, one bell choir. Um, and I should also say, when I was here at Highland View Academy, I worked with the students at Mount Etna Elementary. So there's a shout out to, to Mount Etna as well. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Um, so we're going to play four songs. They're listed in the program. Uh, the first one is a nice fanfaring kind of uh, uh, opening called a festival prelude, right? Festival Entrada. There we go. And uh, then we're going to lead to the next one, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Uh, followed by a song that fits the theme of our festival. Our theme is Let It Shine. And this is the song called They'll Know We Are Christians By Our Love. That's how we, uh, we let our light shine, by showing Christ's love um, to, to those around us. And um, the final song is a spiritual. Um, Mr. Hernandez talked about that this morning as a music that came out of the time of slavery. And... You know, a lot of the, the slaves were oppressed in many ways, but one thing they were allowed to do was use music. And um, so this song, Wade in the Water, was about the parable of, or the, the parable, the story of Jesus uh, healing the man at the pool of Bethesda. But the, the slaves were wise enough that they were able to use these music pieces as code songs. Um, and the code, the hidden code for this song, when they would sing this song, it was that the, that the, uh, that the way for escape was coming soon via the paddle boat on the river. And when, just like in the story of the Jesus healing the man at the pool of Bethesda, when the waters were troubled and they got into the water, they were released from, the, from their sicknesses and illnesses and oppressions. When they were singing this song, they knew that it was soon coming and they could meet, make their way down to the river. And when the boat troubled the waters there was their path for escape and freedom. So that's an interesting a story that goes along with these songs. So here are the four songs from the uh, Chesapeake Conference Festival Bell Choir. And uh, it's an honor again to be here.
Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. We are so excited because this is the first year where we have strings as part of our program here at the Chesapeake Conference. Yes. And not only has it been a joy making music with all of these students, but to get to know each and every one of them as well. We are bringing you two pieces. The first, I'm sure you all will recognize. It is Amazing Grace, and it is featuring one of Spencerville's students, Gabby Apollo, doing the violin solo. <laughs> and our second piece is titled Dance of the Tumblers, and it is a brisk piece that depicts the character of nature, particularly the forces going against each other. For example, winter against summer, which is what we're all experiencing right now during spring. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy.
Good afternoon. Happy Sabbath. It's truly an honor to be here with all of you listening to this wonderful talent that our academies have to offer. For many of you who believe in music education as an important component of Christian education, you need to know that you are an extremely valuable piece of building the character of these wonderful students. And this few days, being with the, the, the students that you see in the back is being a tremendous joy for me. Being able to, to sing, being able to bring meaning to the words, and being able to tell you the stories, and many stories that each one of the songs have to tell you. And that is the plan. We will love to, to challenge you, as you being wonderful audience, to continue listen, listen to the message, not only to the melodies, but to the words. What are we singing? What is the message? On the first two pieces that we're going to, the, the first two anthems, we're going to sing, Let Everything That Had Breath Praise the Lord. Very specific, is very commanding. And Give Me Jesus, it gives us the little story about when... You know, we suffer slavery, you know, around the world, and there was nothing else but singing praise, looking for hope, and that was the only thing they were looking for, going to heaven, telling themselves and telling to others, all I need is Jesus, nobody else, nothing else is going to change my destiny but Jesus. And I hope that through the sorrows, uh, 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 you, know, you, you know, that through the sorrows they were able to overcome and being able to be free. And that's the message we're going to, uh, to do to the music. So let's, uh, let's, we're going to sing the, this first two numbers and we'll talk just a little more. So incredibly happy for what you're about, about to hear.
There is nothing more powerful than listening to the youth making music. How many of you say amen? I hear one amen. <laughs> Let me say that again. There's nothing more powerful than seeing our youth making music. And I'll tell you that because sometimes we feel like we are a little shy just to show the gift and the talents that, give, that God is giving us. But this is a beautiful opportunity when you make music to truly share light with everybody else around us. What a better, what a beautiful way to ministry when you got the opportunity to do that. So, on the next a, a, a song we're going to do is a gospel piece, Praise His Holy Name. And for that, we're going to have one, obviously, one of our own. James Kerbs is going to sing a solo in, in, in the middle of the song. And once again, listen for the music. Make the connection. Is this story getting to you? I hope so. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. Jesus, Jesus, how I love thee. Shout hallelujah.
Amen. Beautiful. Before we go to the last song, I would like just to make a short pause to give my official gratitude and thanks to the clinicians who took time to, uh, to stay away from their uh, jobs and come here for two and a half days and spend two days with the kids working, working hard. I tell you, this is a rewarding task. When uh, we started, like, I mean, on Thursday, I was checking and visiting every group, and, and at first was a little bit kind of uh, worrisome because things were not as they came up today. So, but you can tell. Uh, when God is leading and with the effort and faith and, perse and perseverance with these kids, we come to take these young people to higher standards. Uh, we teach them music, rhythm, theory, and they teach us patience, perseverance, endurance. And here we are. So I'm going to invite all the four clinicians plus, uh, Mr. Gatiss says five, and he uh, wasn't wrong. Because uh, behind the choirs, there is always someone that is the engine that moves everything behind as well. I'm going to invite Ms., uh, Mrs. Lopez, Tatiana Lopez, to come also here as our pianist. Come. So, Eric, where, where are you? Daniel, uh, Emily, just come here, please. Um, here at the front. Oh. All that, all right. All right, these are the responsible of today's program. And we truly appreciate what you guys have done for, for us uh, during this week and with these kids. We have a token of appreciation to you. And so, ladies, our students from Highland View, um, we're going to uh, share with you a little token of appreciation. Now, in addition to uh, the clinicians who work with them, also, we got the music teachers from all these schools that came today. So I uh, want to ask all the music teachers, please, to stand wherever you are. We want to recognize you. If you are here, please stand wherever you are. All the music teachers. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, thank you. We're going to now move to the last song, and we will close the program with uh, the words of uh, Mrs. Janesta Walker, who is our superintendent. Thank you very much. Okay, for the last piece, we have a few students who are going to be singing, you know, also a, a solo portion of, of the song. So we have here, we have Asher Smith. We also have another solo by Ellie Harvey. And, all, and also another solo for Lorena Blyden. Can you please, as we end this program, can you please go when you go and change a life, support your schools, support music education, and make sure that all this effort is, doesn't happen in vain. I've been sharing with, with many of the students that I don't have the opportunity as much as to, do the, to go around to our Seventh-day Adventist academies to do this clinic. I do a lot for other organizations. And it gives me a special joy being able to 
be in front of you and to see what you're capable of. But this is not gonna happen only because of these kids here. It's gonna happen because of you. And it's gonna happen because of the support the administrators are giving to the schools. And I hope this music that glorifies God, it can also continue, uh, uh, you know, help you to, to help you to continue supporting the music programs to our uh, uh, at Seventh-day Adventist Academies. So, please be the light. Have you been blessed this afternoon? Yeah. Young people, you have filled our hearts. You have done an amazing job, a beautiful job, and we are so, so proud of you. Um, as the superintendent of education for the Chesapeake Conference, I feel like I have such an amazing privilege to be affiliated with such fantastic schools and 
beautiful, talented young people. Thank you parents who have invested in Adventist education to make sure your young people are able to participate in events like this where they can share their love for Jesus and where they can learn about him every day. We are just so blessed here in the Chesapeake Conference. And kids, we love you very much and we just are so impressed with the music you've made this afternoon. I remember when I was a kid in elementary school and even in academy, music festival was one of the highlights of the year for me. I hope it has been for you too. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah, do you want to do it again next year? Yeah? Yeah, all right. We're going to do it again next year. <laughs> uh, I, also, uh, I also want to say, and we'll have a closing prayer. And just once again, thank you, parents. We, we are so grateful to have your young people. Thank you for trusting us with your most prized in front of your throne, in front of your throne. We we'll so look forward to that day where we can experience the joy of worshiping you face to face. I pray that you'll be with each person as they go home this evening, that you'll keep everyone safe on the road. And we thank you, Lord for making this weekend possible. In your name I pray, amen.